46 minutes. Did Jet leak these? Wait, there's two? Are oh, they from different channels? Well, maybe it's just this this one. Hey, could you guys come pick me up? Um, I'm at the hospital. Uh, I think in... Um, also, if you could call my brother and let him know that I'm okay now. Um, also, if you can make sure that nobody in the hospital gets hurt. Um, I think you know why. Hey, Dad, it's... But did she go to the hospital after the show? Why is she... Why is she at the hospital? I thought she just left the show and went home. Why did she go to the hospital? Summer, um, I owe you and Sam a huge, huge apology. Um, I'm still at the hospital if you guys want to come visit me, but I want to retract my statement. I think I was very, very confused. I found out I had COVID, which I didn't know. Um, basically... I changed my mind, and I'm so sorry that I accused you guys of doing something to me. I was just so confused, but, you know, if you want to come visit me and talk more, you're more than welcome to. She's so crazy. Wait, what did she accuse them of, though? What did she accuse them of doing? Like, was this some kind of abuse allegation? Can you give me her number? If I get her number, I'm the only one who's going to be who's gonna be texting, okay? Come on, look at you. Know, I'm the only one. I'm the only one. The R word? Who did she accuse of R-wording her, though? Rockstar? Yeah, she got rockstarred. She accused him of keeping her from Ben. She's in love with Ben. Oh, she's in love with Ben. Really? With Ben Bush? This guy. Um, yeah, this dude. And people are still endorsing them more than they're endorsing you two. You've only been here a day. You're, you're below her. You're second to last. And you've been here since the very start. And you've got the second... I'm not taking questions right now. <laughs> I wouldn't be laughing. If we wanted a bar girl, we would just drive two miles down the road. Sorry. Sir. Sitting at the bar, hucking it up. You've got fucking no fans. <laughs> you got no fans. Wait, so what What did she accuse them of doing, though? Who specifically? Do you think Jet leaked the messages? I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't assume that, but I don't know how else someone would get them, right? I'm still like hospital but i just want to say i regret what i said and i'm sorry and i still love you guys um this is summer by the way pelkey thank you i'll be at the hospital if you want to see me or if you want to call me i have your number now so yeah i just wanted to say i'm i'm truly sorry and i changed my mind and i want to take back that statement i was very confused so thank you for listening jet and i still really Love you. Not sure why she'd be in love with someone with a bald spot, but I'm trying not to judge. Dude, the bald spot guys, they fuck, okay? Some of them fuck. Don't sleep on the bald spot guys. Uh, goodbye. Miss Breezy had a good response to your criticism and they want to edit for you free of charge to prove they can. Could be an interesting story arc. There's no way that she is editing for me. There's no fucking way. That's funny though. I'll have to check that out. She's hot even though she's crazy? No, she's hot because she's crazy. Hey, thanks for not picking up. Uh, please don't pick up any of my calls no matter what I say. Thanks for not picking up? Um, Wait, so she I knows she's, she knows she's messed up Maybe a reason you don't want me to come back on the show is because you think I'm not stable enough. Well, you just realized that? You just realized that? I promise you that I feel the most stable that I've ever felt in my entire life right now. I know there's no way I can prove that. You should call her Connor and see what happens. Why doesn't she like to be called Connor? You, but listen. Beautiful to princess me if syndrome. You can. Beautiful princess disorder, dude. She's got it. And please let the entire staff listen to my messages. No matter, I won't be mad if you don't let me back on the show. But if you let me back, I'm not going to be a liability. Summer's allegedly D trans, and that was her trans name. She's D trans. She doesn't look like she is trans. I mean, I guess it's possible she was, but I mean, she just looks like a girl. I'll literally do whatever. I know you can't believe me. I would take a lie detector test. I hear that that's something that liars say a lot, though, on YouTube. Um, so nothing I say can prove it to you. But in a perfect world, and this isn't what my family wants, by the way. My brother oh, and my roommate are really against it, but I don't care. This girl just probably should have never been on the show. She's too crazy. Someone posted somewhere's voicemails to Jet on Fortune after being removed from Fish Tank. They posted this link, transcript with timestamps. Do I sound like someone who's unsane, proceeds to list multiple mental disabilities? I mean, you, you know... It's it's okay to feel a little bad with her, or f sorry, for her. Feel bad. I want to feel bad with her. It's okay to feel bad for her, though, because, she, I mean, she did go through a rough time on the show. 
but she probably should have never agreed to go on if she knows she's that mentally ill. The people in her life need to just get her get her locked down and away from Fish Tank, I think. Fake or not, Summer portrays the exact type of woman you will avoid at all costs. A woman with BPD will absolutely ruin you. You need to run fast, run far, and cut contact with them immediately if you unfortunately meet one of them. I'm legitimately terrified of her. The line, after I get kicked off, I have no control over what will happen to me, is eerie as f***ing genuinely creep me out. In a perfect world, if I could have whatever I wanted, I would come back as a freeloader, and I would prove that I'm okay to everybody again, and I would prove that I'm stable, and that's truly, genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, what I want more than anything else. Okay, so this is going to be the last message I leave today. Please listen a few times if you have to. I've I'm never not met a pleasant person with BPD. I mean, there are pleasant people with BPD. The problem is when they start splitting, you know, they can be very rough to deal with. Um, especially if you if you actually wrong them in some way, then they will, they'll hold it against you forever. It'll be like a crazy thing you have to deal with constantly, just like ruminating in the back of their mind. People with BPD obsess over details and little things. It's, it's so crazy. Not begging, but... In a perfect world, if I could have whatever I wanted, I would come back to the show. I was the happiest I've ever been in my life on this when show. When they don't use their medication? I mean, yeah. When they're off their meds, it is crazy. She's my perfect woman. That's what I'm saying, dude. That's what I'm saying. I know you can't believe me, but listen to my messages. All of the staff, all of you listen to them. Do I sound like someone who's insane? I mean... Do I sound like someone who's insane? No, you sound perfectly mentally stable, Summer. You sound like... You sound like the perfect sweetie. You sound like the perfect sweetie. And you sound like you need to hit, hit me on hit me on Instagram or Discord right now. This is just normal to me. Every third hot woman is unstable. Yeah, I would agree. She's very insane. I mean, on the show, she was absolutely... She was absolutely unhinged. It's crazy having seen stuff like this in real life. Fish Tank Summer eliminated. This is where she got kicked off the show. They did a little send off. Walk, sometimes you don't get to decide before a gator gets you. Before a big old gator gets you. Oh, okay, there she is. And that's all I have to say. Thank you. Aw. Dude. I'll fix her. Someone as solid and steadfast and willing to fight who's got what it takes. To make it all the way. While he's giving this speech, she's I've breaking never down. I've seen nobody who had what it takes to make it all the way, Cole. I can't never seen no like this little Wolverine right here. But y'all, summer's going on to greener pastures. We're sending her on to a better reality show. We're sending her up north to where the grass is green, man. Where the grass roll, the hills roll for days, boy. Where the hills roll for days, green grass, warm sunshine, beautiful farmland. That's right, summer's going on to where the summer never ends. It don't never end when she's going. <laughs> she's crying. It's be Aww. beautiful, y'all. I don't want to feel I don't want to feel bad. I don't want to feel bad for her. I don't. We're saying goodbye to our dear friend, Summer. But something about me just like something about me just needs to give her a big hug and tell her you you are not insane, Summer. You don't sound insane. You sound just fine. You sound perfectly normal. How could you be crying in a moment like this? Well, in fairness, she was crying for most of the show. We're saying goodbye once and for all. We'll give it all. Fish tank goodbye. Everybody, round of applause. Big round of applause. Round of applause, chat. One more, one more. Yeah. Yeah. And she's crying. Now, some of you go ahead and say your goodbyes to your friends, girl. And then you'll get your stuff and your belongings, and you come on down to the basement now. Bro, this this kind of crying where like they hide their face. Oh my god, bro. Ooh, fuck. Oh, sh I.
have had a lifetime of this. <laughs> oh my god, I. F <clears throat> Dude, I'm just, I feel bad for her, but I'm also just so attracted to her. <laughs> oh, f***. Summer, I'd like to apologize for yelling at you yesterday. Thank you for apologizing because it didn't really hurt me. Honestly, I, I was really I scared of you. That was really uncalled for. But it's okay because it's, it, it's just a TV show. I know, but still. And I'm going to get treatment for my crying and stuff, and everything will be okay. I promise, guys. Uh, I, I didn't feel good about that, though. I thought about it all night. I, I still feel bad about it. I'm sorry. I want you to know, Summer, everything I've ever said to you in terms of, like, you being a really good person and whatnot, that's still 100%. Like, I sincerely mean that. Thank you. I believe you. I love you, too. Thank you, bro. Thank you, too, Summer. You, too. Good luck, Summer. Good luck. You're going to do good. We love you, Summer. No homo. Yeah, no, you, you got this. Bro, the awkward feeling in there is too much. Um... There, what he's apologizing for here is what we saw the last time when Brian yelled at Summer. He like screamed at her. He was like trying to he was trying to check on her and see how she was doing, and she just went ballistic. What's your issue? What's your issue? What's my your show? You like that? No one likes it when you're yelling in people's faces. I don't care you can't what you like. do that. You can't do that. Yes, I can. I just did. Yeah, I right. just did. You did. You're right. Okay, so what congratulations. Now? Uh, yeah, got mad at him. He, he he fired back. Brian was based in that moment. That's what she needed, I think. Maybe anxious, maybe scared, but I don't think I sound like I'm insane. Thank you, Jaden Albert, for the two clapped. We did clap. She might, you don't need to get clapped, so that might fix her. And I don't believe that you guys think I'm insane either. So all I'm saying is, but, um... Why did she say unsane before? She said unsane and now she's using the proper terminology. I feel like the unsane is sort of a darker thing. I feel like the I feel like I feel like this whole this whole unsane thing is sort of a sort of a sort of like something darker on the inside coming out of sort of her her darkest, deepest, darkest side coming out. Do you guys know what I mean? Like when, when somebody mispronounces a word that's really easy, but they say but they say it, it's a bit, it's not a bit. It's absolutely not a bit. I think the only mental no illness way. I have I was diagnosed with Depression, anxiety, borderline personality disorder, oh, um, that's it. That's an eating disorder. Um, I think in here I found out I'm pretty sure I must have bipolar, which I didn't know before, but I'm pretty sure that everything has confirmed that. Mm. Have you ever heard of age regression? <laughs> uh, yeah, I've heard of that. <laughs> oh, oh. Have you ever heard of age regression? That's so dark. Oh my god, she's so twisted. What the f happened to her? What actually happened to her on the inside, bro? Like, what, what happened in her childhood to make her this way? Guarantee her dad just didn't pay attention to her or something. Like, her dad didn't show up to her soccer practice or whatever. And that, that just spiraled everything out of control. Betty Mog Summer. Betty's definitely a different kind of crazy. Or sorry, Letty. Letty seems cool, though. I kind of like Letty. Letty has some Letty, Letty has some swag going on. Um, I'm pretty sure I have that, which could explain the way I was acting. The PTSD and the age regression could explain how I was acting in the hospital. Um, How did she act in the hospital? What was that comment she made about, um, she made some comments. She was like, I want to make sure nobody in the hospital gets hurt. Is it because of her? Is that why she acts like a kid? I mean, I guess that's what she's saying. She's saying that the reason her behavior was that way is because she was acting like a 10-year-old or something. And that and that's what happened. Yeah, let's ignore the BPD diagnosis and say it's age regression so you feel bad. Is that an official mental illness? Age regression. Age regression occurs when someone reverts to a younger state of mind. This retreat may only be a few years younger than the person's age. It can also be much younger into early childhood or even infancy. Sigmund Freud believed age regression was an unconscious defense mechanism. It was a way the ego could protect itself from trauma, stress, or anger. Certain mental health issues make age regression more likely. Age regression could be a symptom of one or more of these conditions. Schizophrenia, dissociative identity disorder, schizoaffective disorder. I think this is the one that's right before schizophrenia. Post-traumatic stress disorder, major depressive disorder, dementia, borderline personality disorder. That's the freaking one. Damn. She has new Nova online with that age regression. Daniel for five says, BPD super sweeties are like poison dart frogs from the swamp. Fun to look at, but Lord help you if you get touched by one. Dark fantasies like Jupiter and age regression like Nova. She truly is the whole package. Dude, she's the ideal. This is Nova online in the bottom body of a of a 21 year old sweetie mr girl finally found his age he can be attracted to damn i get embarrassed to say that because a lot of people don't believe me if i say i have it um i know you think it could no because the nons might swat them i think is what she meant oh how would they even know the hospital she's at though i mean it's not like they said it on the show it'd be a liability 
but I could reassure my friends that it's okay that go on the show. My mom has BPD and it's very easy to get obsessed or hyper focused on one person. Well, one one thing with BPD is the favorite person where um I mean I guess people with BPD, but girls with BPD will latch onto one person, it becomes their obsession where they're thinking about them all day, every day. And this can turn into a negative thing when they start splitting where they get like crazy, crazy mad and do crazy stuff and so what makes bpd love their feelings are way more intense both in the positive and in the negative i wonder who her favorite person is maybe she doesn't have one but it makes it so that when things are good they're good and when they're bad they're really bad i'm a really good actor okay like i could do it um unless you don't want me to act in which case i won't but more than anything else in my life all i want to do is be on the show even if i don't win and after that you know i'm yours so don't worry about what my family is saying. My mom doesn't care. My dad certainly doesn't. The only person my has her family been talking to the to the production of Fish Tank. What do you mean? Don't worry about what my family is saying. Have they have they been talking to Sam and Jet? Family who cares is my brother, and I can convince him that I'm okay. And Remy, those are the only two people we have to. Also, please delete these messages after you are listening. Well, too late for that, I guess. Why? How are there 45 minutes of it? Was she sitting at the hospital just like for an hour straight? her hours straight just like thinking about what to say and then sending them voicemails the only woman who loves jet as much as sam does okay so let me see if i got this right she's been obsessed with jet before the show and has a crush on him threatened to basically sick her concerned family on them that she has been self-admittedly ignoring in lieu of harassing jet like a pack of dogs if he doesn't answer the phone admitted to publicly making false allegations against sam literally the day she exited the tank on the plane home said verbatim i will be a freeloader on the show if you guys want i'll be a freeloader on the show where you guys will have to kill me because it was always her dream to be on there and thinks some of the employees at the hospital she's staying at are assaulting her and could be actors somehow involved with the production. <sighs> Man, I had a girlfriend in high school who had BPD. The vocabulary and manipulation tactics were spot on with these voicemails. Quite a blast from the past. Not exactly her fault. It's just the brain wiring. But it can be super rough on people who have it and the ones around them. I really hope Summer gets the help medication she needs for her own sake at least. Yeah, I mean, the, maybe the saddest part of it is she she doesn't even realize she's being manipulative and doing this. This is just this is just her. This is just her personality. It's not really her fault, you know. I mean, it, it is. Like, you can you can describe responsibility on her for her actions. But it is really like she just... she's. Up. She can't help but act like this. Whatever the f happened to her in her childhood made her this way. More than anything in the world, I want to be back on the show. And after that, I will accept my consequences. I believe in God now. That's why I'm not scared right now. I hope you guys can contact me somehow. Because if not, I mean, either way, I know. So I think the easiest way would be to let me back on the show so I could prove that everything's okay. Listen, this doesn't make sense. Why isn't one of your guys here? If I'm in a crisis, like you're trying to convince me, why wouldn't you come? Just come. I hate this tone. I hate this f***ing... This cold, disaffected tone they do. It's so crazy. The, like, communicating something very emotional while doing it in a totally detached, almost psychopathic way is so dark. Please. I still haven't called anyone else that I want to, but I'm scared. If I have a reason to be scared, then tell me before I call them. I'm trying to protect you. Hmm? I know you don't believe me. Whatever. I don't care. I'm trying to protect you? What does that mean? One of you needs to come to the hospital and talk to me, no matter what the truth is. No matter what, okay? There's no lawyer who's telling you not to pick up the phone. There's not. You guys don't have a legal team, okay? Jenny told me that, basically. Don't get Jenny in trouble. Who is Jenny? Just listen. Look at everything. I mean, this is the, the trials and tribulations of running this show, right? Because the, the the point is to have, you know, crazy or weird people on. That's obviously the point. But the, the complication from that. Oh, maybe they're talking about Jimmy. Maybe I heard it wrong. Jenny's tail. It must have been Jimmy. You're not on the writing this show. guy. This is the guy that people say that I look like, right? Jimmy. Yeah, here we go. Why does Turkey Tom look like Reddit Jimmy? Does he? I guess he looks like me a little bit. I see it. Tom, the type of guy to play kerosene while driving his Audi. That's true. I do play that song. Crystal Castles is fire. Do I? I guess I look like him. Why not? I'm just not. You're, you're probably the funniest person in the room. Why aren't they giving you? Why aren't they giving you? Uh, letting you decide things in the sketch. Uh, well, tell me about the sketch right now. What is? What's the big? I guess he told them that he they don't have a legal team. I mean, they might. I wouldn't be surprised if they have at least a lawyer on retainer just for this show because of all the all the shit that goes on with it. They obviously want to avoid legal liability. For whatever goes on because you know it's not their responsibility what crazy people do right they choose to go in the house whatever they do is their fault are you gonna answer me are you gonna show up or are you gonna let me tell someone are you gonna let me kill someone what is she saying what is she saying the manipulation is unreal this person needs help so bad yeah obviously she is she's talking to you tom that's true what is what is she talking about though are you gonna let me
someone. At the hospital? Is that what she's talking about? I don't want to tell someone. It's 1036. I first called you, what? How long have I been doing this? It doesn't make sense. Even if I was stupid. And I kind of am. Please. I love you guys. I love you guys. Especially you, Jet. I love you. Whoa. Take that how you will. I don't mean it in a creepy way, but hey, Jet Neptune. Um, this is Summer Pelkey from Fish Tank. I just wanted to call and apologize not only to you, but to sincerely apologize to Jason Goldstriker. I am a narcissist and I was having a severe lack of sleep. I only slept six hours and because of it, I acted crazy. I had a delusion and now that I'm kind of got some sleep, I'm blinking out of it, I can see that it was not okay. Nothing about how I was on the show was okay. I can promise you, at least, that I wasn't trying to act, but what that was was just genuine delusion. She should join the turkey team. Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get her and uh her and Miss Breezy are gonna be the new turkey team. We're firing everyone else. They're gonna be the full time editors. We don't need anyone else. We'll 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 downgrade expenses a bit. We'll pay them each ten grand a month to work for me. It'll be good, it'll be good. Illusion. And I'm sorry that I let you guys down in the weights challenge when I lifted all those weights I, and I had that fire in me. I know that you and Jason, I know that Jason looked it in my eyes and he saw the fire that I have. I can still bring that fire to your show. I can be quieter. I can shut up about myself. I can get the sleep I need now. I believe in myself, okay? Maybe it's not possible because of how serious the allegations I spat out were. And I'm sincerely sorry for that. I, I was scared, hallucinating. What were the allegations? Did she accuse Sam of something? What, what were the allegations? We saw the letter. Can somebody tell me what the allegation was or where I can... Did she tweet about it or post about it on Instagram? Like, where should I be looking for this? R word? Where, though? Where Where is that? Miss Breezy, kind of bad. Don't say that. Can someone get her normal-sized glasses? No, they're perfect. She said she was R-worded by who? Wasn't she... <laughs> I thought she was off before before the Charleston white dude got on. The, the recent fish tank thing I saw was... um. This guy named Charleston White. Charleston White says he's starting a new trend in America with a white guy is not afraid to say the N-word. This is what I saw. I didn't know they were letting him go live in the house, though. Kind of the type of guy to go oopsie-daisy when he drops something. Very creative and funny, bro. You got me. Sleepless, and I lashed out she on the people it that deserved the it the least. Oh, okay. She read something on 4chan. I, I am a narcissist, and I want to... She's talking to them like they're her therapist. I really think as sad as it is that she's lonely, crazy, but lonely. Why else would you air all this on a phone call? I mean, I think she just needs to go home. I don't think she sh should have ever been on the show in the first place. Obviously, they couldn't have known how crazy she was going into it, but she clearly needs, like, severe, intensive psychiatric help long-term, and she shouldn't be in the public eye whatsoever. Improve. I want to give other people the time to talk, too, and I want to get a healthy amount of sleep, and I think I can do it, especially the doghouse. I think that was actually really comfortable for me, and maybe if we got me These some eyes melatonin, are, even. They're so haunting and empty. Either way, me. I just want to tell you I'm sincerely sorry to you and Sam. There's no one I love most in the world than you and your team, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart, and I'm sorry I betrayed you guys. What about your family? You don't love your family more than the fish tank staff? That's such a crazy thing to say. It's like the lights are on, but nobody's home. I mean, there's just a, there's a, there's a black hole of, there's a pit. The shadow realm lies behind these eyes. There's no actual brain there. When I wasn't feeling well, I would give anything to go back on your show and apologize and try to explain myself to your audience and to the housemate because I believe I truly can do this and I believe it truly will fix me if I can just keep on going. I know it's crazy because of the way I act. I mean, I, I was, there's no doubt that, you know, Summer had her moment, but now that, now that I'm seeing this, I, uh, whatever BWC there was ready for this is just totally, totally retracted deep into my body. It's inverted. That is, this is scary. This is scary. I'm so, I'm so thankful I'm not getting voicemails like this. Acted. I could fix her. Yeah, you could fix her a little vodka. I can't handle it, but if true. I just take my meds, get sleep, and keep, and stop talking so much. Okay, let me have two things to say. My first thing is a question. My second thing is explaining where I heard the conspiracy theory that I told you to. You're probably not allowed to talk to me. They're going to tell you that I'm going to try and manipulate you. They're letting her make voicemails at the hospital like this incessantly? Is she lying and saying she's like calling her family to pick her up when she's actually talking to them? Is this a bit? There's no way this is a bit. There's an absolutely 0% chance this is a bit. Look at her. Um, I don't know if I should ask. When I was leaving the, the talk that me and Sam had with the letter, after I left, I said something like... So she's talking about um the letter that she read Sam at this one. Thank you for listening. All right. All right down if it gets to be to the level that it was today because i wrote this yesterday uh -huh. and i said thank you for everything i sincerely mean it when i tell you this was my biggest dream and i wouldn't want to be anywhere else as crazy as that sounds keep on keeping on summer okay. and that's like the entire thing okay thank you for listening what thank you for listening what why did she have to be suicidal do you know what he meant when he said that my second thing is i um i spend a lot of time on 4chan and that's something you guys didn't know about me, but all the stuff I was saying, I think I got it from Bortian or from maybe a wool cow, 
the stuff I was saying to you and Sam when I was yelling at you guys. I hope that Sam knows that I'm sorry, even if my friends are telling me not to worry about you guys, but I don't care what they say, okay? What is she even schizo babbling about right I'm now? I'm gonna be loyal to you. I know you don't believe me. They're gonna say that I'm manipulating you no matter what I say, so you don't have to believe me. What is this farting in fact, noise in the background? Is someone ripping ass right behind her as EDP in the hospital? She sounds like a cult victim. It's the internet's fault. She sounds like a psycho anime girl. Yeah, she sounds like a, what do you call it? A, a, a yandere. She sounds like a yandere. It's safest for you if you don't, but I at least wanted you to hear that. And you don't have to talk to me anymore because that's all I ever wanted to say. I'm not going to try and call you anymore. I don't want to get you in trouble, but at least you could do is pass on those two things. That's all I want you guys to hear. I don't even need... It's big part of B a big part of BPD is delusions and thinking something is not happening is, is happening. She's in total delusion mode right now. She is completely delusional, but I, I don't even know what she thinks is happening. She thinks there's some some kind of conspiracy against her. Against someone like a ding dong. I need an answer, but the reason I thank you for not picking up, um, if I call, don't pick up from now on. Um, I just, I want you guys to know I could be a big asset to you guys. I know you can't believe me, but if there's any way I could prove to you, I'll do whatever it takes. Sam mostly gas, most likely gaslit the hell out of her behind the scenes and is using her for views. Definitely more to this story than Sam's letting on. Should I be crazy, but Sam a thousand percent knew beforehand. I mean, you can tell a little bit by her personality, but I don't think anybody could have predicted just how bad things would get. I really don't think. I don't think people could have known at all how bad things would get. Does she have a nose ring? Yeah, she has like the septum piercing, and I think she has another nose ring, which is an, which is an important detail here. The stuff I said, it's like I was parroting exactly what someone else told me. When I look back on it, I wasn't in the right state of mind. I was having a psychotic break. I was looking at the internet on, on that airplane. All of that combined, it made me crazy, and I'm sorry that it led to something so she been on the way over? She was, like, looking at 4 schizo threads? I know that you can't believe me no matter what I say, but I really think that I could, if there's anything I can do to help you, I mean it. I'll go against what my family wants. I think it's the only way. And also, please, please let Sam listen to the messages if you can. She should not be going against what her family wants. She should be home. She should be home with her parents being taken care of or something, being washed at all times to make sure she doesn't do something stupid. She should not be on this f***ing reality show. Please. It's not about, that's not like coddling me. He's not letting me talk to him. I'm only saying this because I feel like I have to say it. I think this is the only way, guys, if I can work with you. Okay, that's all I have to say for now. I'm going to stop calling because I know you can't believe me. I'm going to stop calling. We're only 20 minutes into this 46-minute compilation of voicemails. Thank you for not picking up. I want to make it really clear. Um, Just don't pick up any of my messages no matter what I say. What do all BBD girls because have the same phenotype? They could be manipulative. And even <laughs> I wouldn't know it. It's just genetic. Um, like, well, it's, it, it, it's even, kind of hard to tell if it's a chicken or the egg thing, but they all do have the same phenotype for real. It's always this, this petite white girl pasty i'm saying right now it could be me manipulating you guys and i couldn't it's hard for me to tell i just want to um clarify what i meant when i said i could help what i meant when i said it's the only way maybe how many messages did she leave i think we're at, we're at at least six or seven right now just kind of manipulative how do i join i think you just messaged sam on instagram saying you want to be a freeloader I'm sorry but maybe if you let me back as a freeloader and i could try to by being happy and stuff do you know what i mean um if you do, then you do. If you don't, then you don't. Uh, please let the whole team listen to my messages. Please let you have my consent. All of you have my consent to listen to my voicemails. I wonder how all these got the leaked staff. in the first place. Um, none of the contestants, but all of the staff have my consent. Thank you. Goodbye. Hey, thanks for not picking up. Uh, please don't pick up any of my calls, no matter what I say. Every single call begins and ends um, with thanks for not picking up. I just realized up. maybe a reason you don't want me to come back on the show is because you think I'm not stable enough. You just realized that. Say, but make sure you guys are deleting my voicemails after you get them, please, so that nobody figures out that I left them. Um, oh. <laughs> I haven't told my brother a lot. I haven't told Remy a lot. I tried to, but she didn't believe me last night, so then I stopped, okay? My brother is suspicious about the hospital, but suspicious he can about be convinced the that I'm okay. I don't think he can be convinced Why that I'm not Why is suspicious right about now. the hospital? I think what could the hospital guys will try to what the hospital go the route of do? maybe institutionalization. Being institutionalized is really scary for me, honestly, because of my past trauma, so I really don't want you guys to do that. Past trauma, oh. If I would rather... Yeah, I bet you do have some past trauma. And trauma she's so um, twisted what do you even do in a situation like this i think if you just come in contact with a girl like this and you realize this is her you just have to cut her off entirely i don't think you can even try to repair whatever whatever relationship or friendship you have with a kind of person like this i think you just have to cut it off as soon as possible date to avoid any twisting into this crazy net that she's dragged these guys into overall if 
it's not me trying to be manipulative, but I do think that the easiest way around this for everyone is going to be if you coach me behind the scenes, let me back on the show. There's no way you can be coached behind the scenes. You've already proven yourself to be, I'm sorry, Summer Lama Ding Dong, you've already proved yourself to be kind of an insane person. You know, you you may be the perfect sweetie, but you're kind of an insane person. There's no way that anybody can bring you on that show ever again or any show. I come on as a freeloader for a while. You can kick me off whenever after that point. And after that point, I'm yours. I, won't, I haven't called my family since I've been calling you guys today to prove my loyalty. I don't know how else I can prove it, but if you can think of anything, please let me know. The only thing I want to do right now is prove that I can be loyal to you guys again. And I'm sorry that I spilled all that stuff. I honestly didn't think that was true when I said it. I think I read it online on 4chan. What Maybe. stuff? I can't even remember right now where I read it, but I definitely read all of that somewhere. Please let me back on the show, please. I know that it looks bad for you guys, but I swear if I she's can She's like spilling or leaking or like making weird allegations. Obviously, they're not going to want her back on the show, right? She needs to get a meds and talk to a therapist. I mean... <laughs> That's like the start. That's like the bare minimum. She needs a lot more than that. She needs to not be, she needs to just not be <coughs> online in a public position at all. She needs to be offline getting helped or something. She needs the BWC to fix her. Apparently she needs that, dude. That could be the only thing to get her straight. No therapist, no meds, just just a little BWC will we'll tune you up. Oh. It's a bit. It's not a bit. There's no way this is a bit. There's a 0% chance this is a bit. Why do people keep saying that? You want it to be a bit because you can't believe someone is this crazy, but there are people out there who are this insane. BPD girls are pretty much yandere to an extent. Yeah. You want to believe that there's not people like this, but they are there, and I promise you it is hell. It is hell to deal with. I know I can do this. I think you guys know too. You guys know that I can do it. You remember how I said all I wanted to do was work for you? I'm not lying when I say that hasn't changed. Listen to me. I'm not crying. I'm not I'm not even hyperventilating. Was she anorexic? Probably. Wouldn't this be the best kind of project to blur that line? I mean, I guess, but obviously, I mean, you can only blur the line so much with the reality. I think we're just we're just seeing the reality right now, though. I don't think there's any bit with Summer. I think it was always real, 1,000%. So, this is what I was warning you guys about. When we were talking in the basement, I told you, you don't realize the position you're in. This is what I meant. Now look at you. You're confused. Don't know what to do. You have three options. I think they know exactly what to do, which is probably just ignore you and never have you on the show. Is it weird that the stream came up next to Eugenia Cooney video on my feed? Bro, that's actually not that weird. Somebody in my in the, on the Turkey team was looking at um, they're looking at similar channels to mine on like this uh, YouTube analytics website and this is what came up. Eugenia Cooney, Jalen, and me. I uh, Sorry, love Eugenia Cooney, Jalen, and Eugenia Cooney. Apparently these are these are the people that I'm on rank with. Similarity score, 85, 84, and 83 with Jalen. So apparently I'm, appa apparently my f***ing content that I put time and effort to is seen as on the same tier as the girl that everybody knows for not eating. A fan account of her for not eating and then Jalen, easily like the most insane person of all time in the commentary community. So I'm definitely honored to be on that list. Jalen's still doing stuff. I think they were live Sky the did. other night. They were live the other night with this title, and it was like, I ruined my life was the title, which is, I mean, very sobering, I guess. Definitely true. Jalen's still posting. Dream has responded to the allegations. Now, I'm sure you guys probably know by now that last year, some pretty serious... SSRI voice, um, Jalen. Jalen needs more, even more serious help in summer, if you can believe that. Maybe we'll revisit the Jalen story at some point in time. I don't know. Doesn't look like they're really posting very much. I think the last update I heard, which I think Nick explained to me on members only, was Jalen had some drama with their, you know, partner, Zer partner. Um, and I think the I think the deal was that Jalen claimed that they SA'd them and there was some kind of call where they admitted it or something. I have no idea how real all that is, but that's just, you know, through the grapevine type thing. Number one, you're gonna institutionalize me. That's fine. I've been institutionalized before. Eventually I'll get out. Number two, you can f*** me. What does that even mean? You can, do they think that they have, does she think that there are fish tank, like, shark assassins that are going around, like, to, to take care of the other teammates and tie up loose ends or something? If you want. Number three, you could let me be a freeloader on your show, which is what I've been told by Remy. I think number four is that they just don't let you on ever. Your audience wants that anyways. I think, that, I now, think option four is that you don't just let me back on, on your show, show. It makes less sense. It makes way so more sense make right choice. you on. Um, whatever you the choose. The manipulation, the going from begging to being like, well, realistically, the only option is to have me on the show. The manipulation is unreal. Going, going, going directly within one call from, um, please let me on the show. I promise I'll be good. You guys can have a talk with me. And then the next voicemail. You actually need to have me on the show. I actually need to be there. It's actually one of the only options you guys can do. And it's obviously the best option. I hope you make the right choice. That fucking, fucking phrasing. I hope you make the right choice. Fuck. Holy shit. It's fine with me. I've had enough but of that. It never had to get to this point. I tried to warn you guys. But you couldn't hear me when I was warning. Toxic soup man for five. This girl sounds like an ex coworker I had. She genuinely believes she discovered some um, slave trafficking ring involving local PD and the homeless. Yeah, the, the delusions, the delusions are actually crazy. What if sometimes they're right though? Nobody believes them. It's like boy who cried wolf type situation. She need correction from Tom. Yeah, I'll I'll, t I'll take her to the prison. I'll correct her real quick. Yeah. I'll fix her up. This is exactly what I was talking about. 
the entire time. I'm not kidding. I knew. So, I hope you choose correctly. Um, it would be really fun for me to be back on the show, and uh, I think the fans would love it. If you could tell me whether or not that guy got fired, that would be cool, too, because I think he should be fired. Um, yeah, let's just stop playing games. Call me back. So now she wants to now she wants to call back. She went from don't answer my calls. Thank you for <laughs> thank you for not answering my calls. To I need to be on the show. I hope you make the right choice. Call me back. I can fix her. Yeah, you can fix her. HTO Raider, HTO Raider. I believe in your ability to fix her. Okay, you're gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna set you guys up. We're gonna do summer dating show on on this stream. Okay, so if you guys don't let me know in the next hour, I'm gonna start calling my family again. Just call I haven't them called now. my family since Thank you, Cass, before for the I realized. Memberships. Call your family right now. For sure. So until you guys tell me that I'm back on the show. I won't call them, but if you tell me I'm not on the show in an hour, I will call my family. I don't want to make you scared. I don't want to threaten you. This is the only way. Unless you can think of something that's going to look better for you. Loki, I might need I'm that. I'm trying to look out for you guys, even if you think I'm manipulating you. It was all fun and games, and now that I'm hearing these calls, I'm like, oh, you never want to be near this person ever. You never want to be within the state lines, within country lines. Her trans name was Connor, and she got triggered because it because TTS figured it out. Can I remember her Twitter app, but I looked, and it was real. Seven stages of grief. I, mean, I guess that's not that surprising, you know, not to be not to be phobic or anything, but history of mental illness is not unlikely. The only person who tipped me off was the guy who held me down and touched my boobs. Everyone else was very convincing. Who did that? Did that happen to her? What what guy? And why does she not know his name? Did that actually happen on the show? Can anybody link me that that clip or something? I I, straight, I I don't believe that happened. I feel like she's having delusions. But if there is some kind of clip where either that did happen or, or there's some miscommunication where she thinks that happened or there's something related to that, I would like to see that. It probably happened. I feel like if it happened, I probably would have seen it. I do have people sending me the craziest fish tank clips whenever they go down. I feel like I would have heard of that. Nurses are really nice. They're giving she me no claimed it happened in the that. hospital? So, so she thinks that whoever did that in the hospital is also, she thinks that whoever did that is like, and did it to her is working for Fish Tank and also works in the hospital or something. Is that what she thinks? They're fake. However, because of the guy. You never want a relationship with her, I trust me. I my mind. That's I mean, why I, I mean in fairness, I don't, I don't think we need your trust to know that. I'd really consider having me on the show so I can help you guys make this right. Think about this. Look at how many people already saw the footage of me. How are you going to get it all down? I mean, they're not. That's the only way out of this. It's to have me on the show, and I can reassure, once you have me on, I can reassure Remy and Shane that I'm okay. They're gonna be mad, but I'm okay with them being mad at me as long as I can be on the show. Think about it, please. I'm begging you. Wow. It's the only way. I didn't know what this was. It was easily found online. Think about this. I'm the only person who can clear your name, and I want to do it. You can test me however you want when you get here. Also, yeah, I'm assuming you're gonna come here in an hour. Please come. Why would you assume that? Why would you assume that they're, please. Gonna, they're gonna come anywhere One of you near at least. you? Need that BWC correction. Thank you for the royal. Thank you for the royal at Dono. Appreciate it, bro. You've got a pretty big team. Is this sped up? It is barely sped up to, to 1.5. But if you put on normal, it's still her voice. Even if Sam himself can't come. You can, it's still her. Thank you for listening. I'm not trying to piss you guys off, I promise. But you f***ed up. Whoever that guy was, he f***ed up. You need to fire him. Or let me have a swing Who at him. Who are you talking about? I'm pretty mad at him, honestly. <laughs> Do I sound upset? Do I sound crazy? Nobody's going to believe I'm crazy. Nobody is gonna believe I'm crazy. Chat, are the unsane allegations true or not? What do you What do you guys think? We'll pull the chat. Crazy or not crazy? I think we probably know. We'll do a poll. Poll option one will be yet. Option two will be unsane. I feel like she's faking paranoid schizophrenia. I mean, she may just actually have paranoid schizophrenia. <laughs> would it shock you that much? Sixty-seven percent of people say yet. Well, I guess it's decided, chat. She's not insane. I'm not insane. I'm not insane. Come back to me, it's almost easy. Come back to me, it's almost summer. Okay, it's 9.41. <coughs> Do you guys understand what I was saying the whole time now? I was begging for you to understand me in the basement. I was never crazy. All of this. You guys are in trouble. People are starting to figure it out. And I don't want... <sighs> Please have one of your men come here. Any of them, even if it's someone I haven't met before. I want to be on the show. What I mean is, I'm going to be on the show as a freeloader. I'm not going to earn any money. And after I get kicked off, I have no control over what will happen to me. Why does she even want to be on? Is it just the attention? Is that all she wants? Like, what is the motivation to actually be on the show at all? She must have the self-awareness. I mean, actually, she doesn't. Obviously, never mind. I was going to say she must have the self-awareness to know that even in the position she's in with whatever delusion she's having, her going back on the show would not fix this. The reason she's in this mess is because she went on in the first place. So obviously her going back on would not fix that in any in any way. In any major, minor, or mid way. It would it would not do anything. 
I think she must just want the attention. I can sign a contract again. I can do whatever you need me to do, but this is what I was talking about the entire time. This stuff, look at me, I'm not that smart. Do you think I could have figured all of it out on my own? No. People know. I'm on 4chan, I'm on MoCal, I'm on, I don't know what else I'm on. It's literally, isn't, it doesn't that scare you? I want to help you. If you don't let me help you, then I don't know what's going to happen to you guys. But people, this is your lot. I don't think people are, it's me. Even if you make body counts, people have a soft spot for me. She's the most base person on Fish Tank. Yeah, she's based. And I could help you, she's or so I could based. break you. And I don't want to break you. And you can believe me, or you can disbelieve me. Now, I really need one of your men to come to <laughs> hospital in, I think, <laughs> Rhode Island. My name is Summer Pelkey. If you ask them at the gate, they should be able to take you to my room. Okay, that's the last message I'm going to send. It's, I think it's 944. What was that comment she made about a body count? I want to help you. If you don't let me help you, then I don't know what's going to happen to you guys. But people, this is your lot. I don't think people are, it's me. Even if you make body counts, people have a soft. Does she have a high body count or something that she talked about on the show? And I guess I wouldn't be surprised if she has a high body count, but she has, has she ever talked about that? Spot for me. And I could help you, or I could break you. And I don't want to break you. And you can believe me, or you can disbelieve me. I can me. break you. Now, I really need one of your men I to come to the hospital in, I think, Rhode Island. Oh, even if you make My body name is counts. Summer Pelkey. She has 60? No way. She's like 22. There's no way she has a body count of 60. No way. That's beyond like that's beyond like blown out territory. That's like an unreal level. There's no way it's sixty. There's absolutely no way. If you ask them at the gate, they should be able to take you to my room. Okay, that's the last message I'm gonna send. Sixty in one week. Lol. It's I think it's nine forty four. So please make the right choice. Even though you're not answering, I still trust you. Even though no one tells me what's going on, I still trust you. Twenty-two years old. I th I think that was I think that was misdirection, misinformation from chat. I don't think there's any way she has a body count of sixty. How do you have time to have sex with sixty people? I don't know that I've met. I don't know that I've met sixty people in my life. How do you? How do you have intercourse with sixty people? Well, does she went through a trans F to M arc? I see a lot of people talking about this. I don't know if that's real though. Is she still your trad wife? Yeah, she's my trad wife, dude. She's my trad wife. Even though I might not be alive after this, I still trust you. I might not be alive. What is she talking about? Even if I can't change what I know, I still trust you. My brother and Remy are gonna be really mad at me if they see me on the show, but I can convince them. I can convince them that I really wanted to be Based on, and it's gonna be easy for them she to believe. She does sound like she's on Thor. Don't you remember it was my biggest dream to be on the show? She sounds like she's not even truly here. It's 9:54. Mentally, she's if somewhere else. If one of your else. men is coming, please her hurry. Her body. I'm gonna give you her guys. body is in summer, but 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 her mind is in the sky. Ten more minutes. I think for a pretty girl like her, it's very believable. But 60 is like you have to be having sex with someone like every single like a new person every week. That seems so high. I guess it's obtainable, but dude, I can't. When I hear people who have body count above like 10, I'm like, what? 10 people? You you know you fucked 10 people in your life? That's so crazy. So instead of 10, let's say 10, 10 a.m., I still trust you. I don't know how else I can prove it. This is the last time I'm going to call because I know I'm annoying you. I know it's pissing you off. I don't want to piss you off, I promise. This is the last time I'm going to call you. I'm going to give you until 10, 10 and just send one of your men to come talk to me here. This is the last time I'm going to call you. Still 13 minutes left in these leaked calls, by the way. She just keeps going and going and going and going and going. I made that up. Yeah, I figured you made it up. But even like 10 is, 10, 10 is crazy. Maybe I'm just weird and don't really like sleeping around that much, but I, I can't imagine. Ugh. I could be wrong, but I feel like I feel like for me, I probably have to have an emotional connection with someone in a, in a serious way to be attracted to them enough to get a f***ing erection for them. I feel like it takes time for me. Even if I find them attractive, like, I'm probably not just going to stick it in. My body count is 17 and I hardly sleep around. 17 seems like so many, bro. 17 is a lot. How do you even keep count at that point? Listen, obviously I don't want to die. How do you whack it then? Just don't. We're edging, guys. We're on the edging arc. But if that's what we have to do, I really could... Would you ever want to work for you? If you could help someone, I think you know where I am. I can't even tell what she's saying now. Scared. I don't talk to anybody. I'm sorry. I don't even get hard till we start talking about the socioeconomic status of our country. I totally understand. <laughs> Based. Here comes the manipulation by harming herself. Does she do that? I am sorry for what it's worth. Because I know you're scared. I know you're scared. And I'm scared too. And I don't want to scare people anymore. I don't want people to feel like they're going to be in trouble. I don't think they're scared of you. I think they just want to be completely cut off. When we address the ace phobia, what is ace phobia? Discrimination against asexual people, also known as ace phobia or a phobia when it's directed at aspect people. I don't know that I don't know that asexuality is real. I feel like that's not real. The only person who should be in trouble is the man who apprehended me. The man who held me down. <laughs> he took off my clothes and he grabbed my boobs and he held me down. He had glasses. That's the only person who should get in trouble. Now, it's 10-10. The next time I call, please answer. I'm begging you. I don't understand. Do you think I'm some kind of criminal mastermind? I'm not. I barely passed high school. Like, honestly, I was truant. I barely passed. The only reason Shocking. I passed high school is because I worked hard my senior year. But even then, I barely passed. You need to listen to me. 
I'm trying to help you. You need to listen to me. You need to. I don't care if you don't believe me. I love you guys. It's not going to change. Even now. But if you guys don't answer me, if it doesn't become clear what's going to happen to me, then I'm going to lose my trust in you. I'm not going to trust you forever if you don't answer me. I'm not a bad person. I'm not trying to manipulate you. I mean, obviously everybody's manipulative to an extent. Sometimes you have to be to save your life. But do you think that means I have bad ill will towards you? Do you think I was lying when I told you that I was your biggest fan? I wasn't. All my friends tell me not to be your fans. All of them tell me. I don't listen to them. You need to answer me. You have friends? That was dark. How f***ed up are listening they? to all of my voicemails. You guys, you need my help if you want. What's up, Marcus? Keep it going. Keep Uber eating, bro. Take it easy. And I would help you if it meant I could save my life. But if it doesn't, then I don't care about my life. I don't care if you believe me or not. No, I need one of you. Okay, I think we've probably heard enough. If if you guys if you guys run into one of these girls, you gotta just get out of this, man. This is a this is a dark thing to be involved in. Jesus. <sighs> I feel like I've just stared into the abyss for in an hour. How long do you think this took her to do? She probably just did it off the dome. Like any good freestyling BPD artist, she can just throw manipulative stuff. Uh, super easy. Super easy. Super easy. I think if you run into someone like this, you gotta just cut it off. Of course she has friends. Boys will put up with getting their balls dragged through fire and broken glass just to have her hand, let alone be her friend. Yeah, I mean, that's true. I don't know what those, I don't know the motivations of those people, though. They're definitely, uh, definitely, I mean, I, I guess I do know their motivations. Their motivations are to hopefully get some. That's crazy, though. Poor Summer. Some of a ding-dong. I gotta play some Fortnite to decompress after that cancer, man. I feel like I'm falling into a black hole of despair. And be sure to become a member. For $5 a month, they get the members-only podcasts and exclusive videos that only members get. Thanks so much for your support. No friends, no